Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love tarot reading session for you Pisces. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Pisces friends out there. What can I get for Pisces please? What is the love message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is you, alright? Before I start, I would like to thank you, Pisces, for tuning in. Thanks for coming back. Thank you so much for your support. Um, yes, viewers, if you haven't, click the bell. Click the bell now. Click subscribe. This is a love reading for you, okay? So in today's reading, we will be looking at the past, the current energies, the challenges, and immediate future predictive outcome and advice. Depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading, okay? So let's start your reading, Pisces. Let's look at the overall energy for today. You've got the Ten of Cups. That is a nice card. Knight of Wands. And you've got the Two of Swords. Okay. I'm really feeling like for some of you guys, you have reconnected with someone with somebody. If not, you're about to. Within two months from now, for some of you, October month, you will be reunited, reconnected with a very strong, powerful um, connection that you had in the past. I'm really feeling like this is unfinished business. And the first part of the reading, the first part of the energy reading that I'm picking up is a very strong, powerful attraction and passionate, but it got interrupted. So for some of you, you will regroup October, okay? For some of you, it's something recent or it's something happening right now that you are reconnecting, reuniting, or things are getting better. Things are blossom. You know, it's starting to blossom. Like a, it, it, it feels good to be back, you know? Um, it's heartwarming. It feels happy, you know? Overall, it's happy because the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, it's a flirt. And this is an upright, but it's in reverse. So it seems to be the hope it's restored. Um, the fate, the honesty, it's it's being restored. It's in the process. For some of you that I specifically mentioned within two months from now or October, this is how you feel that you will be reconnect, reconnected, reunited into some sort of un, unfinished business that you've been manifesting. So get ready. Now, the... The challenge in here is the two of swords, you know, um, you fear that it will fall out again. You know, ten of cups, you're very happy. Celebrate the most of it. If, if, you're, if you have someone right now, if you're connecting with someone or reconnecting, you know, if you've got a love energy around you, you know, don't jinx. Celebrate the most of it. We don't know how long it will last. There's, the future is always going to be uncertain. You know, I have a partner right now. We're not yet married. You know, I don't focus so much of the future because I know to secure the future is for me to take care of our connection, of our relationship right now. Okay, so for you, I'm getting that vibe that you need to really be focused on now to secure the future. Because two of swords, you're happy and you fear that it won't last or you fear that something happened or you fear that it might slip away well it won't slip away if you're focused into now okay so stay in the present for some of you when this happened when this energy is activated focus on the now not in the future because it's not perfect it's not going to be perfect all the time you know the hardest thing that you could do in this lifetime is to love someone is to love another human being is to love someone not like you okay? someone who is separate who's not you it's easy to love ourselves to love another human being equal of how we love ourselves that's different you know it's yeah that's the most challenging and difficult thing is to stay in that loving energy because it's a choice you know so in here two of swords celebrate the most out of this ten of cups it is here it's about to come in celebrate this you know because um pisces energy tend to be you know it's two fish you know one swimming here one swimming here 
you know this is your energy you know one day you're this and that you know it's confusing the more you dive into that emotions and pisces is the sign of you know what it's a water sign that you dive into the ocean you're the deepest so the more you swim towards your emotions combining your thoughts and passion the more you're lost so don't lose this moment or momentum this is predictive i am predicting that you will have a connection again that will make you happy and you will lose this if you lose your focus okay you snooze you lose okay all right um let's see other factors of this reading You've got the high priestess, I told you. You've been manifesting this ten of cups. This is like dreams come true, you know? High priestess, you've been you have been working on your manifestation. It's been a, appearing in your dream that you and this person will reconnect or you will really get to a point of happiness. What is that? You know, there is this song, uh, I'm on the edge of glory and i'm hanging on blah 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 sorry i'm singing <laughs> but you are in the edge of glory ten of cups hold on to it embrace it you know don't possess it don't cling too much on it just take care of it slowly okay ten of cups you know seize the moment seize the chance you know something is something beautiful is coming your way I don't think this is going to happen this month, probably begin. It could be activated at the end of this month, but I'm seeing for some of you at least two weeks from now, which is, you know, at the end of this month. And there is a full moon. I think there was, there's a, there's a moon energy coming at the end of this week. Check out the blog, sunshine-tv.com. I'm pretty sure the team is working on the blog about that. Um, so yeah, it's looking very passionate in here. The world card right now you're feeling stuck you know because right now pisces you're feeling stuck you know you, you wanna you wanna stay in the ten of cups you fear as well for some of you it hasn't happened you feel stuck nothing is happening you keep manifesting 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 you feel stuck like i feel like for some of you you are living in a world you know, wake up in the morning, do the same thing, 8 to 5 job, go back, sleep, eat, repeat, eat, sleep, repeat. And you keep manifesting. You know, what they're showing me is a Pisces who 8 to 5, sleep, repeat, sleep, repeat, sleep, repeat. And for you, there's nothing happening because there's no love or love is not improving. It will improve. It will improve one way or another. Something magical is going to happen in your way. Keep manifesting, keep believing on love because your manifestation is working, okay? Um, your desired outcome is justice. So you want marriage, of course. Who, who doesn't want marriage? Legality, official. You want marriage, something official. You want to justify your feelings with someone, with somebody. You're also looking into the law of attraction or karma in the sense that if love was taken out of you in the past you want it to be replaced and it will the universe is conspiring to work on your happiness all right there is really something big in the background you don't see but you feel it's gonna happen mm -hmm. high priestess look at that That's, the high priestess in, the high priestess is in here so you are working on your manifestation um, check out the manifestation store. I'm selling a journal. It's really, really nice. You know, if you don't know how to manifest, the basic manifestation is journaling. Write your dream, your thoughts, your feelings. Attach the, en attach the energy as you write your dream. How do you want to feel when the person comes? What will you do next time to make it work? I will be introducing a lot of manifestation items, how to manifest, you know, um, right day right technique right questions to ask yourself in order to fuel that manifestation energy but for you i feel like it's it's uh, it's in your blood you know pisces are very intuitive and your intuition is deep it runs deep um sometimes your manifestation speaks in your dreams in spirituality maybe you have, you have a guide but i really feel like 
is in your dreams. It surrounds you. Um, something is going to come along. Something will sweep your feet from your ordinary 8 to 5 job. Repetitive, you know. Sleep, eat, repeat. Sleep, eat, repeat. That cycle will break. Something great is going to happen. Okay? Look at that. Ace of Swords. Hidden energy. The universe, the intuitive is telling me, Pisces, that there's something cooking for you. Something solid. Okay? So if you're connecting with someone right now, you have someone right now, cherish the mode. You know, cherish, yeah, like, um, what's that word? Cherish the most out of, like, make the most out of this connection. Grow it. Cultivate it. Not fear. No fear. No fear, please. No fear. For some of you, hidden energy, ace of swords. Look at that. Look at that. The Ten of Cups, the Ace of Swords is working along together. So if you and your person connects in a happy moment, happy time, then you're making it solid and you're securing the future. Because in here, you worry about the future too much where the answer to your future is in your person, in your connection, in your now. If you don't have, if you're alone, it's okay. Then this is your time to be happy, to be alone. It's okay to be alone. Check the community. I posted something about being alone. Um, being alone is something that you should enjoy and be happy. Being alone, Ten of Cups, you should be happy with you, with yourself, with your family, with what you have. Because it increases the vibration to attract a lover. You know? Ace of Swords. Hidden energy. What else is coming towards you? I mean, right now, the person that you're manifesting, current energy of your person, they're open to talk. They're open to communicate. For some of you, you're happy that you're reconciling. You're happy that you have this person right now. They're really wanting to explore something serious towards you. It could be your flirting. It could be your reconnecting again with someone. But there's some sort of happiness within you. If you are single, the advice is to be happy and prepare. And don't worry about the future if you feel like alone, I'm single. Don't worry about that. I mean, I'm on my late 30s, you know. I've I've been divorced. I've been divorced in my mid-30s. And mid-30s, I still dated one, two, three, four. And now I have a partner. <laughs> on my late 30s. Imagine how many people, person I meet. And that works because my manifestation, I'm vulnerable. You know, so with you... What I'm telling is that the, the future is unpredictable. In here, it's telling you, you will have someone. If you're single, you should be happy because this is the time you spend to yourself. Self-improvement, self-care, self-beautification. So when your lover comes arrive, you are fully, fully ready. The inner work has been done. So if your inner work is done, your respect, your confidence to yourself is up then the most likely it will be successful you know that's why you know you always hear this and it does work for me is that when you are you know you need to find yourself first before you fall in love you need to be whole inner before you actually find the right love or before it works because if there is something empty within you you know, you need to be happy by being alone. Because if you are contented and happy by being alone, then a partnership or a love romantic, it's amazing to have someone. It's undeniable. But they would be secondary and you, would, you wouldn't be needy. You know, that's the reason why it always, whenever you, I attend seminars, I attend love relationship seminars, webinars, podcasts, you know, a tarot reader, it doesn't stop me from, from attending those because I am advisor too. I'm picking intuitive message and I'm advising. And I tell you, with those relationships, with those coaching sessions, with those psychologists, you know, psychology um, classes that I'm taking, they always advise us you need to be whole again. Yeah. You need to be whole again in order to make love works in your life. This reading, if you don't have someone, don't be insecure. Enjoy life. Because that's you're going to attract people person. They normally come along, the love person, when you don't expect it. When you're so busy living your life, you know, that's where they come along. Last card. 
Queen of Cups, and unconditional love. You see, I told you, your unconditional love, they will arrive. They will arrive when you are ready. I'm seeing at the end of this month, I'm seeing after two months from now, and I'm seeing October month. So there's a series of close energy that you can activate. So right now, stay happy, seize the day, take care of this moment that you have with someone right now. If you have, make it solid. Build a lot of good moments. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. If you want to propel and make advance to activate the love energy further, your person is open to grow it. Whoever it is that you're connecting, you're happy, you're okay. They're open to grow and understand you mentally. This is mental, okay? Your person, whoever it is in your life right now or actively, actively connecting right now, not from last year, it's from this year, Queen of Swords, it is open. It's open to explore and understand how it's gonna work. So there's no rush. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. They're happy with you. You're happy with them. You know, feelings, it's not a problem. It's more of understanding your maturity, their maturity, readiness, and then the rest is falling in love. Okay? So this is really good. Um, I empower you to take charge of your life by living the moment, whatever it is you have right now. Whether you have someone or you don't have someone right now, live Live the moment, okay? I'll see you soon. Check out the store. Check out the link. You know, the Leo season is about to kick in, start. I think it's today. And uh, check out the blog, sunshine-tv.com. Subscribe in the blog and the website because I will be opening a subscription next month, August 2021, a daily reading. Subscribe in there. Um um and that's me that's one of my project you know self-development um don't lose that side of you don't fall in love in the process of being in love i don't lose yourself in the process of falling in love okay make sure that you always have your identity with you okay i'll see you soon beautiful pisces i've got a pisces sister so i'm so so close to your energy um and my best friend is a pisces she might be watching right now <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.